Hi, I'm Lao Ling, and this is the first of a series of tech talks targeting the Renesis RA family of microcontrollers. I'll introduce myself. First, my name is Lao Ling. I'm a senior field application engineer working for Avnet Silica for the last 20 years already, and I'm based in the Netherlands. And this is a series of short tech talks targeting the Renesis RA microcontroller family with a m trying to target a minimum of marketing content and focus on technical good stuff. You might not all be acquainted with uh, the brand name of Renesis, but you might, on the other hand, know Hitachi. Well, Renesis was born out of Hitachi, which later merged with NEC and Mitsubishi and became world's largest microcontroller vendor. They don't only make microcontrollers but also a large range of other products ranging from uh, low power SRAMs to sensors, timing devices and power products. As far as the microcontrollers are concerned they provide microcontrollers ranging from very small 8 and even 4-bit devices to 16 and the 32-bit range, but also large microprocessors, 32-bit and also 64-bit. We'll be focusing on the uh, mid-range 32-bit uh, microcontrollers in this session, of which Renesis has uh, the RX series, which is based on their own IP, it's non-ARM Cortex, and on the other hand, they also have the Renesis Synergy family, which is based on the Cortex-M devices, which is a platform-based uh, solution, providing not only the hardware, but also the IP, fully integrated and guaranteed and supported. Besides that, they also have the RA family, which is based on the Cortex-M devices as well, but now includes the most recent cores, the M23 and the M33. It's a very powerful uh, series of devices, ranging from very small packages uh, with 32 pins up to 176 pins and ranging from 48 megahertz to over 200 megahertz in performance. A huge range of connectivity options, including CAN-FD and Ethernet, as well as USB, and very advanced security features to account for security in the Internet of Things. Flash has always been a very powerful aspect of Renesis microcontrollers and uh, they're, as I said, they're using the most recent uh, ARM cores. The most recent uh, ARM cores are the Cortex-M23 and the Cortex-M33 but they also have uh, Cortex-M4 devices in this family. The advantage of the most recent uh, Cortex devices is that they include Trust Zone. And as I said, security is extremely important for the IoT. Leading technology uh, includes excellence in flash, but also a world-class CapTouch technology, which is included in all devices. Connectivity can't be avoided in uh, nowadays, in products nowadays including Bluetooth, LoRa, uh, narrowband IoT, and Wi-Fi, of course. These are all supported in IP in software. And uh, the IP is brought as a so-called FSP, which is a flexible software package. All of the IP, all of the software examples and uh, building blocks are provided free of charge for the Renesis RA family, building up a very strong ecosystem as a result. Now the RA devices as such range in performance, as I already said, but they also uh, range in a part number from RA2 to RA4, RA6 and the new RA8, which will be introduced later this year. As you can see from this block diagram, uh, the features range from low power to high performance and from for small memory and small footprint to high memory and a lot of connectivity options. 
Now we're drilling down to, to some extent to the different devices and the RA2 family can be subdivided up into a number of different subfamilies. All of these subfamilies have a huge range of package options and memory options as a result. The RA2 is a 48 MHz Cortex M23 device. The RA4 is a 100 MHz Cortex M33 device, but there is also a lower speed Cortex M4 device. The RA6 is currently the flagship amongst the RA family, ranging from the RA6 M1 running at 120 MHz to the RA6 M4 running at 200 MHz. As I already said, later on this year, Renesis will be introducing the RA8 family, of which I'll then tell you more. Drilling down to some detail, an example of the RA2 L1 family, you see that it already has a large range of communication options ranging from CAN to I2C, serial ports and SPI, and analog features, both 12-bit ADEC and 12-bit DAC. The RA2 and the RA4 are more analog-centric devices, while the RA6 and RA8 will be more high-performing connectivity devices. The RA2 and RA4 will be based on a 110 nanometer technology process, which means that they'll be able to operate from 1.6 to 5.5 volts, often eliminating uh, the need for a DC-DC or an LDO on battery in battery-operated applications. All of these microcontrollers all of the Renesis RA family are specified from minus 40 degrees to plus 105 degrees. There's no commercial or industrial version, they're all the same. As an example of the RA4, you see that you already have a lot more options, a lot more communication options, and the memory size goes up. The RA6 introduces Ethernet connectivity as well as high speed or full speed CAN. Uh, the operating range goes from 2.7 to 3.6 volts because it's a lower technology size, a smaller technology size of 40 nanometers. Here you see uh, an overview of the differences in the security block of the different RA devices. It stands to reason that the most performing devices with Ethernet will have the most features. We'll be drilling into this in a later uh, presentation. The flexible software package is a high performance, highly efficient package of uh, peripheral drivers and middleware for ease of implementation of communication and security. It has an open software ecosystem with, which makes uh, very flexible to use legacy code, which you may have used in a previous ARM, Cortex ARM device. Collaboration with third parties and ARM C ecosystem partners is evident, as you can see from the block on the right. The RA family development environment is also very flexible, implementing both Renesis and Segar debuggers. The integrated development environment can be used from IRR, from Kyle, or Renesis' own Renesis e Square Studio, which is free of charge. The same goes for compilers. You can use the IRR compiler, the Kyle compiler, or a GNU compiler, which is also provided free of charge by Renesis. Supporting tools include uh, the FSP flexible software package, driver selection and configuration tool, which is a drag and drop configuration, and an intelligent pin mapping tool, which makes it very easy to avoid sneaky errors where you might assign different functions to one pin at the same time. Of course, this is all complemented by a range of evaluation boards. So, Summarizing, Renesis offers, offers with the RA family cutting-edge technology using the most recent Cortex-M devices 
in a huge selection of devices, introducing very interesting new peripherals such as uh, touch interfaces and high-end security. Do yourself a favor and follow more of these presentations so that you get a feeling of the RA family of devices. Thank you for your time.